Okay, tutorial 20. Let's see if we finish this now. So we, last time we, we, we stopped it right here and for the, let me save it. Uh, for the, for the edit student, when it comes to update, I think I'm done. But now we're gonna have to put some codes in here. Okay, so let's take a look at the update student and see what we got there again. So I have, so what I'm just gonna have to do is just the update. So here I have add, but I think I change it here. You gotta keep track, I change it as you saw like that time. So I gotta change here too, otherwise I, won't, I will have problems. Um, whenever I, I try to run the program. So here it goes. And that was actually, should be sh that was supposed to be showing me the problems. Let me see if I've uh, got any problem here at all. Well, I guess not. Uh, this one is pretty used to do, right? Dialog result equals to false. Okay, that will take care of it. Now this one. will be pretty much the same that I had for add student with one difference. Let's go there to add student and see what we have there. Add student, where are you? Here you are. For the add student, we had this add student um, method that we created in the admin class or in the business project. In this case, we don't want to add a student, we just want to update a student. So let's actually go here to the update and just do something here real quick. Oh, I'm sorry, not to update, to the, come to the business project and come to admin.cs and let's go to add a student and, and do a method that will do update student, okay? So... Let me actually copy this, don't be typing all that. Paste it. See that I, I put in the same region of the student, right? And we talked about a little bit about region a little while ago. But here I don't want it to be added, I just want it to be update. I want a student to be passed. This will all be the same. Uh, now here I'm going to have some changes. So here what I'm going to have is a student. Let's give a name. I'm just going to call it stu equals to um, um, so from from s in con dot uh, where is my student dot student um, where so now where s dot student id I want to get the same ID, right? So you have this alias. We're going to have like, we could create another alias, but we don't have to. Uh, equals. Now I want to get this student here. This guy, right? I want to assign this guy to this guy here. So where is student dot student ID equals to student ID. Uh, select. Uh, select S. Okay, I put between parentheses because we want to select the one that we have first. Since we're not selecting a bunch of them, we, we will not be able to update a bunch of them at the same time. We can just update one at once. That will work. So we're just going to do here dot first. First or default is just going to get the first one that it sees, the, the, one, the, the one that you actually selected. Okay, that's pretty much what it does. Okay, so if you don't understand this query here, just trying to be real quick. Uh, I guess maybe the confusing part could be here if you're not familiar with databases. I'm just, I, I'm gonna pass this guy, right? That has an ID. I'm just assigning this ID to this guy, which will be the same guy, right? So I can actually update that guy. So now that I, I've done that, I can just come here and do a stu dot um, first name. Now I'm just gonna assign the new thing that I want. So it's going to be equal to student, whatever name we're going to give whenever we do the other code that we need to do. We just have one more to do. And he's going to be the same. It's two, it's two dot uh, last name equals to student dot last name. 
Uh, the other one will be uh, is two dot gender, right? It's gonna be equal to a student. Oh, and there you go. And when I do that, I just do here ctx. Uh, oh, not ctx. A con dot uh, submit changes. When you do that, it's gonna work. But remember, if I run right now, it's not gonna work yet. Why? Because I haven't done anything in here in the update. And like I said before, this is going to be pretty much the same as we have in Add Student. So I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm just going to come here to Add Student and get this here. Just get the whole thing here and put it there. Exactly the same thing. Now I'm going to come here and paste it. And I'm just going to change this guy here because I don't want to add, I want to update. Yeah, update student. Uh, here, change this to update. It was updated. Yeah, let's see if there's no other errors here. It probably, we probably don't have any other errors. Uh, what is that complaining? Oh, I'm supposed to have a. Let's run and see if that was going to work. Uh, let me see, where's the problem? Oh, I need another one. Probably cancel when I whenever I shoot it. So, anyway, it was a little disorganized. Sorry about that, but yeah. That's why it's good to have Visual Studio because let you know. I still have a problem. He's saying that I don't have this guy here. What's the problem? He shouldn't be giving me up. Uh, should we give me oh I know what it's in. Um it's in the click. Here's supposed to be update. Update. Okay. Now let me go back there, take a look at it. I don't need you because I don't need you. You don't exist anymore. It should work now. Let's run it. And see if we're gonna be successful. Edit, edit student, let me try this one, update, let me change the last name to uh, white, uh, update, oh, I didn't put a, G oh, I forgot to put the GPA there, let's go back there real quick, and let me give a GPA in here, stu, dot gpa equal to student dot gpa let's run it again and see if the gpa is going to be there already i mean i don't want to put a new gpa because i don't know what is the last what was the other one so let me come here update so white uh the gpa is not sure i don't know it, oh i guess take a look here one thing real quick I'm just checking here. The, those first guys in my database, I had no for the GPA. That's why I'm having that problem. If I would actually come to one of those, I'll be able to, to do something. So let me go back there actually and run. Let me close this. Let me run it again. Uh, I can Since I didn't have a GPA for that guy, I guess I can just go ahead and put something. Here, let's see. Right, and let's put here three. Update. I'm having a problem. Uh, what that is? Let's see. What? What the hell would that be? Is a new keyword to create? Oh, maybe I know what that is. Uh, let's come back here to the update student. Uh, where are you? Here you are. And the problem is that when we copy the code, that's the danger of copying code, is that I don't want to create a new student here as I had in the add student. I just wanted to get that selected as we talked about. And the select is there already. 
So let's get rid of that and try to run one more time and hopefully things will work out this time. So here it is, here it is edit, update, come on, hope you work out. I put here four now. Update, and he was updated successfully. You see, last time was changed. I didn't put the GPA to show if you would put, you'd see that, but if you go to your database, you're probably gonna be able to see that. Let me actually do that again, select top. Here it is, okay. Try that, guys. Make sure you do that also for the, um, for the class, okay? We're not gonna be doing this. You're just gonna be doing the same thing that we did here for the student. The same thing, pretty much the same thing. Next time, we're gonna do delete. All right, thanks, guys, bye.